A name is a word by which a person, animal, place, or thing is known. Ayodili, a young girl, womb carried by a mother, who had no other name to call her by. You see, culturally, the names we are given depends on the circumstances surrounding your birth. So, are our names our parents' idea or that which is given to you from above? From above. Titilayo Lolua Sofumi Baba Jeka Yoikaleo Titilayo Lolua Sofumi Baba Jeka Yoikaleo Oluwa Lopumi Torio Femi Bukbo Titilayo Loss of for me. Ayo de lewa mi wa. O la ye mi yo. O ruko ye she mommy lara. Titi la yo. Lo lua so for me. Baba jeka yo y kaleo. Titi la yo. Lolo was a for me. Baba Jeka yo y kaleo. I know Lua Mako. Ni no a ye mi yo. Mo du pe u moro un keji. Olu tu no ni ya. O matunda mi la re. O matola lo we mi. O to be loba, wani beku be daleko, ayomba lo bura. Ileri oluwa oni latishe, ni nuwa yebio, wani. Bekum bak beta leko Ayumbo Lobura Ileri Oluwa Oni Latisha Ni no aye mi yo Titi la yo Lolua so for me Baba Jeka yo y kaleo Titi la yo Lolua so for me Baba Jeka yo y kaleo La 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 la. Thank you. That song is called Titi Lyo, and it's a song that I wrote for my mum, and it's a song about celebration of names. It's about my faith. And it's about giving hope to other people. You see, when I was three years old, my family decided to move back to Nigeria. And um, we didn't really have a home to go to, so I, we ended up living with different relatives. So when I got, I lived in Ibadan, Abelkuta, and somewhere else, I can't remember. Um, but when I lived in Ibadan, it must have been about eight or nine, something happened in the school that I went to. This girl walks up to me. She was tall. Um, she was a lot bigger than the rest of the class. So I figured, looking back now, that it was because she didn't pass her exams. So she didn't flow to the next level. But she came up to me in the playground. And she said, Ayodili, 
you say you are born in London. I said, I was. She said, if you are born in London, your name will be Tokumbo. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, for those of you who don't know, Tokumbo is uh, born abroad. I guess it's like naming your child Paris <laughs> or Brooklyn. But Tokumbo, sorry if there are any Tokumbos in the house. Um, and she said, furthermore, if you are born in London, you'll be fairer. Because it's cold in London. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with that. I remembered London because I remembered the grey pavement. And I remembered that when you breathe that, when, you, uh, when, you, um, when it was cold, that there was air that it looked like you were smoking. There were certain things I remembered. I remembered bubbled hats. And I remembered the smell of vinegar. But this girl was confronting me, and there were other children with her, and they were laughing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I don't remember how I got out of that situation. But um, not long after that, my mum came to visit in the house I stayed in. And she said, we're going to Lagos. You don't need to pack anything. Just bring yourself. We're going to stay with relatives. And that trip, I ended up at Heathrow Airport. She brought me back to London with my sister. And so I was to start primary school. I was excited. I was in London. I wasn't going mad. I was born in London. <laughs> and I didn't get to say to the girl, I think her name was Risi Katz, and she had like <laughs> lines on her face. <laughs> and she was a terrorist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was in London. So I found myself in a new primary school. And um, again, I was in the, um, in the playground and I meet this girl. She says, are you new? I said, yeah, I am. She said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Nigeria. I was so proud to say I'm from Nigeria. She went, ah, me too. I said, I'm Ayodili. She said, I'm Rita. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. There's someone that speaks my language. And she goes to my school. And then <laughs> the, the, the school bell goes. So we have to go back to class. But like two months after, I'd see her, but she wouldn't talk to me anymore. So about two months after our um, playground meeting, this girl comes up to me in the dinner queue with friends. And she says, Oi, African. You're African. Your name's Ayo, Ayo, Baba Tunde, Ayo, 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 Ayo. And she went on. Oh, my. It was so embarrassing. And then I looked at this girl, I said, ah, but me and you, we met. And you spoke Yoruba to me. I don't speak African. What do you mean? I'm not African. I'm West Indian. Oh. <laughs> Again, everyone laughed. So you see my predicament. Twice, my name's been made fun of. So I kind of figured I had like a few months left in primary school and I was to go to secondary school. If I was talking about secondary school, I said, yeah, wow. What is gonna, what's going to become of me in secondary school? <laughs> so I decided to change my name. I said, I'm going to change my name. So I went to my mum. I said, mum, I'm changing my name. She said, ah, Funkini. I said, I get teased at school. She said, don't mind them. They don't know their history. I'm like, mum, I need to change my name. And she said, you can't change your name. Your name means joy has come home. Oh, goodness me. She didn't understand. So I start secondary school and we're in the class. And my name is on the register, probably first or second. But I see the teacher, I see the beads across her face. <laughs> like she's going to have to pronounce this name. And as she opens them, I have to say, I, I, I said, mm. <laughs> my name is Joyce. <laughs> That's the truth. And Joyce just wanted to fit in. She just wanted to be part of the crew. She just wanted to be cool and be accepted. What young person doesn't want to be accepted? And so um, throughout secondary school, I was called Joyce. And Joyce was the only name that I could kind of go with that my mum wouldn't suspect because of the joy in it. <laughs> if I had gone with Sharon or Deborah or something, she'd be like, uh -uh, who is Sharon? Who is Deborah? Your name is Ayodele, what do you mean? So I had to kind of live with that. But then I went on to drama school. 
And then my final year, everyone's changing their names. Oh, we need something exotic. I need to, the agent to see my name and give me the job. Ah, predicament again. I said, okay, I'm going to stick with Ayodele. Because after all, it's exotic. And no one else, well, at the time, I figured kind of <laughs> nobody else will have that name. So I um, accepted my name. So when I was working on my album, Forever Becoming, I realized that all of those challenges that I went through kind of made me who I am today. But even then, I despised them. I thought, ah, oh, if I wasn't African, if I wasn't black, if I wasn't this, if I wasn't that, then my life would be better. But hold on a minute. Every single challenge that we go through makes us better. We grow, we learn, we become, we, you know, and so, yeah, the album is called Forever Becoming. And it's got loads of songs. Haven't put the stories on there yet. But the next song that I'm, we're going to do for you now um, is called Freedom Calling. And it was written for a charity that work with victims of human trafficking. I was approached to write the song. And I thought, yeah, yeah, it's cool. But then I didn't really know anything about human trafficking. So I went to do some research. And oh my goodness, as a mother, as a wife, as a daughter, somebody's sister, as a woman in, in our community, in this world, everyone needs to know about human trafficking. So even though this charity works with victims in India, they would rescue them and rehabilitate them and, and help them get back into their communities. I kind of figured I have to put this song on my album because once you find your voice, you can speak up for others. You know, so Freedom Calling um, was added onto Forever Becoming because I realized that we gain strength when we share our stories. And even though this place is far away in India, I've never met any of the people, I realized that um, human trafficking is a, wait for it, it's a Nigerian issue. It's a UK issue. It's an African issue. It's a global issue. It's not down to just one nation going through it. It's, it affects everyone. So this is um, Freedom Calling. No, no, no. 
Now my life has new meaning Just because you came and found me Love that seemed so out of reach Is now my hope for tomorrow I'm no longer bound by the images of the past anymore Scars are fading, the chains are broken I'm living for today oh, I've met with freedom joy has filled my soul found a new way to live and I'll never be the same no no freedom is calling out my name and it's pulling on the strings of my heart oh yes I Always been made. I've been rescued from the pit of shame. Never to go back. Never to go back. Oh, oh. freedom is calling you. Freedom is saying, I have set you free. Freedom is calling you out Freedom is calling you Freedom is saying I have set you free Freedom is calling you out Thank you My name is Ayo Dilly. This is Mike Dunn on guitar Chikwe and the TEDx team God bless you Thank you.